Uh, 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 uh,
edges darkened. So I'd probably at the very least pop all the glass out and then mask the outside of the body super tight and maybe spray some flat black on the inside of the body. So it will darken it, um, but it wouldn't glow anymore. Uh, uh, excuse me. I've had a hell of a week sleeping, and I'm still off schedule. i got no idea what day it is. Thank God tomorrow is Friday, though. Um, you know, or I might just paint the whole thing. I mean, for all the hassle masking and painting the inside, I haven't decided yet. But it is a neat shelf model. I mean, they're not bad. Like I said, this chassis is smooth, but it's going to sit on the shelf. The wheels are already snapped in. They're like in these little keyhole slots, but they'll pop out. Plus, you could, you know, take them off and put them on something else. Um, but, yeah, it's very basic. Let's open this, uh interior stuff and the rest of the parts here we go but I mean it's got your basic dash let's do this there we go let's put some light on the subject but I mean it's not half bad detailed I mean you know a lot of guys will turn their noses up at a snap kit but they're good slump busters. They're great for slot cars, like I said. They're great for a first-time builder. Uh, you know, and I say first-time builder, I don't just mean little kids. I mean anybody. You know, if, you, if you're an adult and you want to try this, you know, hey, it's a good start. If you're just somebody, you know, with a Mustang and you want to have a model of it and you don't feel like building a whole on kit, go for it. Uh, there's a dash. There's the steering wheel. I mean, it's very rudimentary. There's our air dam, lower intake in the front. Here's our grill with the horse, already painted. Now, here's our rear spoiler. Like I said, that appears to be paint. And the funny thing about these bodies, okay, I know my eyes are really kind of weary and tired right now. But, yeah, there's some mold line there, but holy crap, I've seen unpainted kits with more mold line than these things got. So really, and like I said, they got the headlights. I don't know if it's painted silver or just the back of this. Yeah, I don't think they painted the reflector. But see, the glass isn't in there very tight. Ugh, excuse me again. Oh, the other night I was super tired because I got up early. And then I uh, I got to bed. I'm like, oh, time to go to sleep. And I didn't get to sleep till after midnight. Last night wasn't bad. But for some reason right now, I'm feeling extremely tired again. But yeah, it's just a real basic kit. You know, you can't go wrong. I like how it says front. But I guess, you know, for a kit or something, they wouldn't know. And the nice thing about these two, they are, because they don't have a lot of delicate separate parts, hey, if a kid wants to play with one of these, he or she can play with one of these. You know, this would be kind of model that, you know, might start something. Might just start something with a young person and get them into building models and, you know, they don't have to destroy a more detailed kit. As much as people scoff at snap kits and the old AMT Craftsman kits, I see it every day, people posting on Facebook, Oh, I'm pissed off. I bought this kit and it's got a one-piece chassis and it's it doesn't have that many parts. Well, round two and AM, you know, AMT, round two, MPC, whatever you want to call them, if you look at their boxes, every bo bottom of their box now has... A roadmap of all the parts and most say how many parts they have so you know oh hey you know it's not a detailed kit but they're good for something you know they're great for a starter they're great when you don't feel like spending eight and a half hours just putting an interior together you know okay let's look at the vet now the vet wasn't as assembled and the vet, excuse me and the vet 
has some detail under here. So, you, know, you could do some detail painting. Uh, it has a lot of that, though, that's got to go. I wish they wouldn't do this. You know, and that's a little extreme. You know, but you could scuff it and paint it black or whatever. But that's all. But the body, now the body on this one just appears like yellow plastic. It doesn't really appear painted. But it's another one you'd want to paint because it's going to glow even bigger time. So, but again, you know, it is what it is. We got the tail lights molded in clear red. We got spoilers in there. Uh, what else? I think, oh yeah, this one even has side mirrors. And uh, tires and... Let's get out some more parts. Uh, yeah, here's our glass. And, uh, yeah. I mean, it's not a half bad thing. It's got the headlight cover glass. I don't want to take it out of the plastic, but you get the gist. And then here's, uh, damn, nose is running now. Ugh. Don't think it's a cold, it's just my sinuses. I hope it's not a cold coming on, but for me, colds normally start with a sore throat. And I haven't had that. I take that emergency drink every single morning without fail as soon as the winter time hits. And I'm doing pretty good. Everybody around me is sick. My girlfriend's sick, my sister's sick, her daughter, my girlfriend's daughter is sick. I was like, oh God. But here's our dash. Again, it's not super detailed. You really can't see any numbers. It's just little specks. But, you know, it's got the buttons. You got your steering wheel, steering column with uh, the two levers, which, you know, one I think is like your cruise and some of your other features. But the door panels are even separate for a snap kit. The uh, seats for a snap kit are two-piece. I mean, even though it's got this big, ugly slot. Huh, slot. <laughs> uh, uh, slot. <laughs> uh, your mother's a slot. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyhow, yeah, that's it. I mean, it's got tires and, uh, oh, I almost forgot. There is a little more parts here. One more tree. Uh, yeah, it's got wheels, which are not bad looking, actually, for a snapper. And it's separate discs. And they're not chrome for once. They're more of a dull silver, which a lot of real cars have. They're not chrome. Now, there's no actual water slide decals. It's got these atrocious stickers. But it's not the end of the world. And that's it. I mean, you can't ask for better than that, actually. So, yeah. I just want to kind of show you those. So anybody who's, like, contemplating buying them, I wouldn't say no. Uh, I mean, they see they have others. There's the... Mustang convertible, Camaro concept car, which neither of these I don't think I've seen out and about, but they're probably online somewhere. You know, but uh, I may have seen that one. I don't remember the convertible. And then this one shows some of the others. Um, you got a 2015 Mustang, and there's the Jeep. There's the Jeep that was there the other day. I should have just picked it up. Because you can see the wheels and tires aren't bad. I mean, they can go on any other 4x4. And this is a more like a hardtop two-door Jeep. Now you got your police car and you got an Audi R8, which I've, I've never even seen this before anywhere. So, you know. But if you run into one and you get a good price on it, why not? Like I said, they're good display kits. They're not, they're not going to win you any contest. You know, unless, of course, you lie and <laughs> you enter in the junior class and don't tell anybody. 
So then when they call you up to get your trophy, oh, I'm, I'm, my son's in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or he had to go home. His mom took him home. I'll accept for him. Ha, ha, ha. You know, unless you want to do that, which, you know, I don't think any adult would do that. You know, I mean, butthead here, Mike, because he's, well, he's a butthead. <laughs> I wish I had Beavis to go along with him, but I don't. <laughs> yeah. But anyhow, yeah. So, that's it. So, hey, don't let these, uh, totally scare you off from model building. Okay? I mean, they're still, if you get them a reasonable price. I think even the, uh, you know, the 1698 or whatever they are in the hobby shop is a little too much for a snap kit unless it's an exclusive body. You know, like the only way I'm going to get a certain year make, model, and car is to get a snap kit. Okay, then maybe it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? But, but just for fun, no, just, just, just enjoy it. Of course, now I'm going to get this all back in this box. I guess I'm going to have to maybe put that interior in some... Deuce, really? Uh, I love him, but he's such a... Such a pain in the butt sometimes. Yeah, I think I'll just put the interior in here so it's... But yeah, I forgot to make a quick video, which is already 16 minutes long. But... Put the interior in here. Deuce, do you have to play with everything? There we go. You I mean see it's they're not the worst kits in the world. Deuce, would you quit playing? Oh my gosh. I'm so glad he stays off my actual model building table because he's such a little devil. He's always been the kind of cat that does what he wants to do. I remember when I first got him the one day, the girlfriend came over and she sat down and we're on the couch and she put her purse up there and her car keys and he like saw the keys hanging over the edge of the uh, TV tray. And he's reaching up there to grab the keys and pull them out. She goes, no, no, no. And she takes the keys and she puts them all the way on top where they're not overhanging. Well, he's a long, tall cat. So he stands up on his hind legs and he gets up there and he's pulling the keys back off the table. She's, oh my God, when he wants something, he wants it, doesn't he? I said, yep. Like some of the other cats I have here, when they're getting into something or up on something, I could just usually yell at them down or just approach them. And they jump down. Deuce, I have to yell very loudly or I have to come up to them and physically pick them up and remove them. Because, like, when he's determined to do something, he's determined to do something. It's like, he doesn't care. He never has cared. He's just deuce. The only one that really kept him in his place was a cat I had named Widget. I had her when I already had him, and she was a few years older than him, and she was a female, and she was tiny. She was a petite little thing, and as tiny as she was, she would put him as big as he was, because at five months, he dwarfed her, okay? And then when he got to six or seven months, he dwarfed my other adult cats, and then when he got to a year, he, well, that's just it. He's, he's humongous. And now Mitzi's not really far behind him. Of course, Mitzi looks bigger here because Mitzi's really a fluffy. Well, Deuce is semi-fluffy. Hi, Mitzi. Want to say hello, butthead? See? That's butthead. What do you think of butthead? Hmm? But, yeah, she's, she's kind of big, but she's mostly fluff, but she is kind of chubby. I can't get two hands around her belly, but anyhow, yeah, he, that's Deuce, he just, he doesn't give a flying you-know-what, he'll do anything, see, and he, you show him something, and curiosity takes over, huh, Deuce, what do you think of Butthead, see, and he doesn't want to let go, 
See, once he has something, he... <laughs> what? Well, you wouldn't let go. Here, play with Butthead. You play with Butthead? Goof. God, you're stubborn. Huh. huh. Where's Butthead? I gotta watch his claws, though. Man. His claws are killer. He doesn't really use them in aggressive ways. He wants to play, but he doesn't know his own strength. I'm gonna do this. Okay, well, hey, it's 20 minutes already. Holy crap, holy. Longer than I planned again. So, hey, everybody, um, have a good night. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for the new subscribers. And um, I'm going to go get ready for bed because one more day and it's a weekend again. And yeah, it's only a three-day weekend, but still. So, uh, I'll be catching up here soon. I'm going to have the uh, Blue Ox Model Shop reveal completion. I'm... Adding a little extra details, but not a lot. I'm not going whole hog. Um, at least I'm not planning on it, but I only have a couple more days. So, okay, well, hey, good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.